Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, and it's not really morning anymore. It's like 11.55. It's almost lunchtime, but I slept in because I don't sleep much during the week. Um, sleeping at night is off and on for me because I've got hand issues. But anyway, aside from that, I just wanted to come on here for a little bit. Um, my goal this weekend was to put up my Easter decorations, but my house is a total mess, and I've got a lot i got to do today, so... I think what I'm going to do is tomorrow I'm going to take down my Valentine stuff and clean my house real good so that next weekend I can put up my Easter decorations. So I may do a um, clean with me or, you know, video where I show putting up my uh, Valentine decorations and, you know, doing different cleaning around the house to get ready for my um, Easter decorations. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. But um, anyway... We're on our way right now to pick up my mother. We've got a birthday party to go to this afternoon. And um, I got me some coffee. I got me some of these little cookies here I'm going to eat. These are the, I may have mentioned it in one of my other videos. I don't know. But at Christmas time, Pepperidge Farm puts out these gingerbread family cookies. And this is just like the little boy. But the um, other shapes they have, they have a little girl. And then they have a uh, mom and a daddy um, like that are connected. These are the best gingerbread cookies, and when um, they come out, I try, well, there went one of them. Um, I try to buy a bunch of them because they are, are seasonal, and you won't get them again until next year. So my husband went to Target, and he bought me like five boxes of those things. And um, so I've got them sealed up in my cabinet, and I did put um, some in my new cookie jar, and I set it right beside of my coffee maker because these little cookies are just so good. I'm not really a big gingerbread fan. But I think what I like about these is these, these little cookies are crispy and they're not really thick and they have a subtle um, gingerbread taste. It's not overpowering. So anyway, these little, these three little cookies are going to be my breakfast this morning. And um, we're going to go pick up Caitlin. She spent the night with a friend. My girls never want to stay home on the weekends anymore. And um, then I'm going to pick up my mother. She wants to go to the Dollar Tree and buy her some succulents. She's got a little thing she wants to do. Um, with a um, little pot at her house and then we're going to go to a birthday party and I'll probably be gone for the rest of the day. I won't, It's a beautiful day. It is 70 degrees right now and I was busy 74 today. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely getting into spring. Um, this We're at that stage where we'll have some cool days and some warm days and this is when everybody gets sick because you never know how to allergies. dress. And allergies too. So, and I've got this onion grass all over my yard because my husband has not mowed yet. Um, I'm hoping he'll do that in the next week or so to get ready for spring. I know he dreads it because when you start mowing, then you got to keep at it. And I do mow my mother and father's grass. So, um, you know, that's going to end up being, you know, something that I'm going to have to get used to doing again too. But that's okay. I need exercise. Um, but it is so pretty today that maybe after the birthday party, if we have time, um, I may just go to a, a park or something and just go for a little walk. Okay, so I'm at the Dollar Tree with my mother, and this is like depressing for me because I don't have any money to spend here. So I guess I'll just like, um, she said there's people watching. Who cares? So, um, say hey. Say hey, Mama. Who are you talking to? Just say hey. To, we're talking to, to you To people, to the, uh, everyone. Anyway. Say hey. I don't have any money, so I'm just going to show y'all some, <laughs> some things that I'm not going to be able to get. Do you remember Nanny anything? Silly. What, Mama? Nanny thinks that you think she's silly. And I don't like jelly beans. Like these are some beans. sour jelly beans, and I bet those are good. I don't know that I'd like these marshmallow eggs. I want to open it and see what's in it. No, you can't open rice. them. Okay, so yeah, I'm looking at candy here, and we saw these, and Caitlin said these are good. I don't know how she knows that because... Um, Can I get some of these? I don't think so. Anyway, she said they're really good. So I'll probably come back and get these to put in my Easter basket. But they got these and I love these. These are really nice. How many did you get? Probably at some point going to do a candy haul when I decide what it is I want to get. 
Okay, and actually the Dollar Tree that we're in right now is a Dollar Tree that I don't really think has a lot, but it's closest to my mother. That would be pretty in like a vase or something. Or you could put those on a skewer and make like a kebab. Or you could eat them. I didn't think you liked that. <laughs> I don't. Okay, anyway. These uh, look really cute, but to me, they just don't look like they would work very well because when you squeeze them, I don't see how there's a lot of air in them. But I'm probably going to come back and get one of these anyway just because they are these cute. And I'll open it up on camera and try it out and see if it really works. But um, I've seen a lot of people haul these. They, I think you just take the jump rope out um, and do some things to it, like put some little greenery in the top and make your own little carrots. But I'm not going to do that, but I think some other YouTubers are. These are cute little games. My kids are constantly bringing me things to show. They have blue ones. And green ones. It's blue. Mm hmm. Yeah. My mama came here to buy another one of those little suckers. Um, she got my nephew. You, um, here, go get one, Matt, Caitlin, and I'll show it to him. Oh, these are cute. These would be cute little Easter basket additions. It's so like you can't get your your kids can't ruin your furniture and they're eating your lollipop and you can take this out and replace it and it opens and closes and then this one is a little spinner and you push it and it has candy in the bottom and you push it and it spins. Oh, I used to love those and, I was and there's good. a little bunny. On we're it. getting it for Eli. Okay, so we're gonna. My mama's gonna get that for my great nephew. <gasps> Look at the duck. Oh, now, these Thank little you. boxes here are very cute. I'm not getting any just because. You I don't have any money? No, well, I'm not getting any because I have no money, but I'm not going to buy any later either because I don't really have anybody that I'm going to make anything for other than my girls and my mother. But if you had somebody like a neighbor or a co-worker that you wanted to do something cute for, these little things are so adorable and you could just fill them There's up with so many cute little goodies. These, of course, are your Easter that, egg you? kits. I'm probably going to do a video at some point of us dying Easter they eggs. We do this every year with my mother. That's a cool Look at this. Like you can make golden like eggs. Stephanie, Hear me? Y'all can make golden eggs. That's really cool. Oh, these are too cute. I can't take it. They're eggs. They're Easter eggs. A cow. Oh a, my gi gosh. a giraffe. A koala. An elephant. An elephant. I want them. There's more over here. Oh my gosh, I can't take it. Yeah, there's a, there's so, a like these two packs are kind of the same. It looks like that the elephant is just replaced with a cat on this. Um, I like the elephant better. Right, I'm going to have to break down and spare a dollar. This one has a monkey in it. Oh, that one has a monkey in it. Something it. Something else that I think is really pretty are these gold eggs. Um, I had gotten my girls um, for Easter, I think last year, some of these, and I filled it up with different little things and stuck it down in their basket. But these are just really pretty, and these were, I would say, probably more suited to them at their age now for, like, teenagers. So that is really, really pretty. But I'm not going to buy any more because I've still got these that I can reuse from last year. And it looks like they have, um, like on the tops, you can see how they got like little designs on them. And they got all different kinds of colors. I'm ready to go. I hate the dollar store. <sighs> my daughter hates, this is Madeline. Caitlin's my dollar store better. Madeline is not. That's because you made me sick the last so time. So anyway, Story happy time. Easter. These are cute, but I don't ever use these very much. We're going to do a story time about the dollar store. Hold on a minute. I like that. Here is some more candy that I would probably really like because I love chewy uh, candy. This is like orange sorbet, lemon raspberry. It's got 12 bars in it. That would be really good. That's some good candy. I think their Easter candy is better than their um, Valentine candy. Nerds, strawberry and grape. My kids aren't a big fan of grape. Sweet tart jelly beans, these things are really good. See, I need to come back and buy like Easter candy too. And then you got your Tootsie Rolls. I love Tootsie Rolls. Nanny needs help. Okay. Did I already show these Starburst? Okay. And then they got the Lifesaver Hard Candy for people who like the hard candy. Um, this is the um, Double Bubble Eggs. I usually buy these in the carton, which I do think they have. But they just got like so much candy. Okay, I just want to talk about this for a minute because Dollar Tree always has these chicken soup for the soul uh, mini books. 
I have got a lot of the big books that I bought years ago, and they have the best stories in them. But I just think it's neat that they have these here, and they have, you know, good right amount of stories in them. And this would be perfect to put in someone's Easter basket or a little care basket or something. And they usually have different topics that pertain to different people. Um, right now, these are the only two I see. But if you look, you can probably find a better variety of them. I'm gonna show somebody this. Okay, I have to show you this. I found this in the book section. And I probably ought to wait until I do a haul to do this, but since I'm here, I might as well. Um, emergency bag essentials. This is for people I would think that likes to do like um, uh, backpack camping type things. But it has these little cars that come out and it's like, all of these and it tells you all different kinds of things like you know essentials to put in your bag how to pack your bag um i wish i could just show you like all this stuff because it's just like shedding weight from your bag i mean it's just got all these different ideas on things you can do um it talks about your water supply anybody that's into camping or doing any kind of backpack um hiking this is like really cool talks about food items so anyway i'm gonna get this because that's the only one that i saw and even if i don't use it i have people in my family that likes doing stuff like this and this would be a cute little gift to get okay i was getting a birthday card from my um, nephew and i just wanted to show you that they have teacher appreciation cards here and they look really cute now my children are too old to be giving their kids their teachers these kind of cards and um, actually i just want to um, appreciate my teacher don't listen to that that was very know. rude um, but anyway i think these are really cute so if y'all got you know little children i'll do a teacher appreciation week or something go to dollar tree and check it out i think they usually have those in may um it's a college graduate so i mean yeah really cute Okay, so we just got out of the Dollar Tree. My daughter just told me she had me. Her apple sauce put in her okay, bag. so my daughter told me she got me something. So tell me what you got me. Hold on, let me finish everything this for Nanny. Don't worry. Okay, so I taught my mom and my mom bought me some applesauce because I don't usually buy food at the Dollar Tree, but she bought some applesauce last week. Thank you. That is it's the best applesauce I have ever eaten in my life. No doubt. No, no lie. No. Um, it was better than Mott's. I don't know it's what it is. It just hand, tasted huh? like a fresh, sweet apple. Sometimes applesauce, when you buy it, can be a little bit bitter, but this was the best stuff. Show me, let me show you the applesauce. Oh, uh, this is what Matt Caitlin got me. I don't think I ended up showing you on my um, last haul because I ate them all. That was um, right? no. <laughs> But these are yeah. some veggie chips. Put it in her bag, and huh? they oh. are potato, sweet potato, beetroot, and cassava chips. And I'm not really sure what cassava chips are. They look like, like a thin version of the potato chips. Um, but they were pretty good. My favorite one was the beetroot. Okay. They have an unusual taste to it. I'm not a big beet fan, before. but I thought I'll these were good. Me. The only thing is in the last I'll bag that I got, um, they only had like four in the whole bag. But anyway, I thought these were pretty cool. So she got me these. Thank you. It's air going. It's hot in here. Okay, can you please <laughs> okay. tell me if I can go to this party? <clears throat> yes, Madeline, you can. Oh, okay, I'm going to what I got real quick. I showed you this on my video just now, but I did spare yeah. a couple of dollars at the Dollar Tree. I got this. Um, these cute little eggs. They were just so adorable. I could not. I'm going to have to turn this down. Sorry, I've got my air conditioner going. Because it's now 73 degrees. But the little and monkey, the out. giraffe. Oh, Madeline wanted a fork. Sorry. I bought these at the Dollar Tree a while back. These are like little mini forks. And I got them to keep in my car because sometimes when we're yes, eating, we don't have any utensils. Um, and we like anything little because you little like things are just cute. So there, here, eat your pie. Don't you like these, yeah, Mama? That's a good idea. Also, I got one little one. Anyway. I, I wish I had a little spoon. I got a little church party. party. Eli. Yeah, for Eli. Caitlin got this for Eli. She did. Caitlin had five dollars. Actually, wasn't her five dollars. Her daddy gave her some money last night to go to a birthday party. She didn't spend it all, and so she took the change and bought stuff at the Dollar Tree. I bought her that to keep it. So anyway. Um, oh wait, no, Nanny bought me this for to give you. Like, I bought that she for bought her. All oh, you bought it. Oh, I'm sorry. My mother bought that for her. She bought everyone else one. Thing. Anyway, they got a koala bear. They got a cute little elephant. And I bought Caitlin. Pie, and then too. the little zebras. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Just so my cash on them. And then, of course, I showed you again the store. I did purchase this book. So I spent $2 today. Then, oh, excuse me, $3 or $2.50 because I had to buy my nephew a birthday card. So I did that. Um, who got these? Me. Caitlin got some potato sticks. They're good, too. Um, yeah. Those are good. $10, I'm not a big potato challenge. stick fan, but they like them. 
To me, good. it kind of tastes just like chips, but anyway. And then I got a Slim Jim. She got her a Slim Jim. She got her junk food. And then I got this little ball because I like bouncing balls, and I was starting to get in Did that bounce really good? Let me see it. Okay, well, she bounced it. Oh, I yeah. have to say that the best invention ever made for kids is a ball. I Out of them. every toy I have ever bought my children, they play with balls better than they have ever played with anything. It don't matter what kind of ball, ball it is either. A yes, beach ball, balls. a yoga little, ball, a little round bouncy ball, yoga ball. The yoga ball I have at home. Super ball. She sits on all the time. Super ball. It don't matter. They love them. So that's always ball. something that's I a good investment. Article, kids do love balls. Okay, so what else? Is there anything else you want to show? Oh, applesauce. I didn't show you the applesauce. <laughs> this is applesauce. You get four for a dollar and it's called apple snacks. And if you cinnamon. get a chance to try these out, you definitely need to. Because like I said, they are really, really good. <laughs> they got plain and cinnamon. Okay, they got plain and cinnamon, my mother says. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> so my mama bought me those. All right, You're so now we're going to go to the birthday child. party. Caitlin bought you that. Here's a little gift child. So Caitlin bought me some veggie chips and my mama bought me some applesauce. So I'm good to go for and snacks. And I bought a chocolate pie. <laughs> Who bought you the chocolate pie? The Nanny? Lord. I asked Bye -bye. Violet who was going to buy her chocolate pie. She said, the Lord. <laughs> I guess she prayed, and my I mama bought it for her. <laughs> so I guess the Lord granted her wish. I bought Papa little viney bites. So she bought my Papa little viney weenie bites. Little daddy, our Papa. Yeah, Papa. Our, said my yeah. Papa. Oh, little sorry. mini ones. My daddy. My daddy. Let me see them. Where are they at? Our Papa. Oh, I'll just show you what my mother has. You're not my family. She got her some succulents. Because in she that. wants to, she's got a little pot at home that she wants to put them in with some marbles around them. Um, at some point when I'm over there, I'll take a picture and you can see them. But um, she just bought these. Why don't you let her show it? Well, I'm just, I've got the camera on me. Turn it and then home. she bought these whack a packs. I don't know if y'all have ever bought these, but Great these are pretty time. fun. Um, you take them out and you just lay them on the counter and then you smack them. And when you do, they will inflate. And they're just like little tiny balloons. They don't rise up in the air or nothing. I mean, they're just little balloons. They got these little ties them on them. Yeah, you can bop them around. I mean, they usually get thrown in the trash in a the couple of days. But, you know, it's pretty neat. Yeah. yeah. Um, who bought these? Or sour. Yeah. Uh, that's what I told her in the beginning. Oh, for yourself? Caitlin picked sour them out. Dude. I sour dudes. Sour dudes and fruit flavors. <clears throat> yeah, those, we all love sour, sour gummy stuff in this family. These are the Vaina bites. That's pretty cool. If you like they these type cute. things, um, instead of, you know, sometimes it's pulling those like whole weenies better. out of the can is kind of hard. This way you can just eat a few of them at a time. He likes to put vinegar on his. And eat them with crackers. Okay. And then, of course, Caitlin showed you this in the store um, that kids can use. And what's good about this is that when you let go of it, it automatically closes. So little kids don't have to remember to pull it down to close it. That way, if they get tired of eating their sucker and they want to lay it down on something, it's going to automatically close for them. And this is reusable because you can reload them with more suckers. With the little suckers, yeah. And then, of course, you know, she showed you this little thing. <laughs> you like that. That everybody spins. loves. There's so, candy in the bottom. Yeah, and there's candy in the bottom. He may not. I don't know how good he'll do it eating the candy, but he'll like this part. So anyway, that's our little mini Dollar Tree haul today. And I wasn't even planning on doing this. That just goes to show you never know how your day is going to go. So, um, you go, you spend money when you shouldn't. Turn the air well, I spent two dollars. Turn the air on, it's hot in here. Two dollars too much. I told you, you were going to be hot. But I can't really count the birthday card because let's know, go back to Nanny's house so we can get her change. It's hot. Mama, do you want to change it to a different shirt? No, because I don't want my, uh, this to show to everybody. All right, well, we're on the way to the birthday party, so we'll see y'all later. She wants to Bye. Change her pants. I hope she'll have her hair on. <laughs>